with Pauly. Today's going to just be a quick update, but I wanted to first shout out a few channels that I watch, and I've been watching for years, and they watch my channel also. One of them being Save Here First, Princess Ella. Her name is Ella. I call her Princess Ella. Her channel is Save Here First. If you have not checked out her channel yet, I would suggest that you go check out her channel. She does live sales well where she'll sell you things live, and she does other videos on her YouTube channel. Please go check her out if you haven't checked her out yet. I watch Judy Mae Collins. She does a lot of lives, and she does some great cooking videos with great recipes. So if you haven't checked out her videos yet, go check out her. Johnny from Cajun Roots Reseller. I watch his morning show. He has a morning show every morning, and he also does live sales. And if you're interested in selling um, on live sales, he is one to watch and one to contact. Um, he will let different people come on his show and sell things live. So if you haven't checked out Johnny from Cajun Roots Reseller, go check him out. And another one is Life with Victoria. I watch her channel a lot and her live shows and Nana from Nana Tink Treasures. Go check out those channels. They're great channels. They will support you if you support them. So keep that in mind. Now, as you all know, I'm transitioning from a three-bedroom apartment to a 2007 Saturn Ion living in my car on the road. I did have a kitty, and I do have a dog. The kitty I recently rehomed. I gave her a good home, a nice home with a nice lady, because I knew that a life on the road for a cat is no good, especially if you're in a car. Okay, you got to have a kitty litter box and things like that. It would just be too hard. So I gave the kitty a new home. I am keeping my dog. My dog I've had for a few years. She's a Chihuahua and Dotson mixed. If you want to see her, ship over to my shorts videos and you can see her in the shorts videos. I always post, usually post one video every day short of her. Um, I do have some short videos of my kitty, which I do not have no more. I rehomed her. But I will be keeping my dog, my Chihuahua Dotson Mix. She helps a lot with my mental health issues like stress, anxiety, depression. Helps me, and I will never get rid of her. Um, I did love the cat, and the cat helped also. However, like I said, it's easier to have a dog in a car than it is to have a cat in a car. A dog goes outside and goes potty. You can feed it outside. You can give it a drink outside. What not, what not. You know what I mean. So, I decided to rehome the kitty to a good home. I made sure she had a good home. Um, and right now, I'm in, a, in the process of moving from my three-bedroom to my 2007 Saturn Ion car. If you haven't seen my last couple of videos, go back and watch them. I showed you how I cleaned out my car and how I'm going to be sleeping. And I did buy a mattress just recently, like a small styrofoam twin thing to go in the back of the car i took out the back seat where you sit down on i took them out i put them stored at my daughter's and i pulled the back seats down where i can stretch out my legs to the trunk of the car i actually just cleaned out the trunk of my car to do that now you might say well how are you going to live in a 2007 saturn ion there's a lot of people living car life, living van life. If you haven't seen the videos, go search on YouTube and you will be amazed at all the people that are living car life, living van life. And that's what I want to do. They're living free. They're more happier. They got more money. They can save more money. They can do more things. They're improving their life. And that's what I want to do. I want to improve my life. Right now, where I'm at, I have a lot of depression issues, a lot of anxiety issues, a lot of stress issues. Moving into my 2007 Saturn Ion is going to do me a lot of good. I'm going to be outside more. I'm going to be going to the gym. I'm going to be going places with my daughter, outside camping, outside with my dog, outside with my daughter and her dog, and possibly even taking a trip to PA to see my aunt out in PA and one of my brothers that lives a few hours away. And if I take those trips, I will take you along on those trips with me. I will also take you on the journey of car life. Now, I'm only going to be staying in my 2007 Saturn Ion for four or five months. 
however long it takes to save money for a little minivan or an SUV. The reason why I want a minivan or an SUV is for more room. And I'm not going to get a new minivan or a new SUV. It's going to be a used one probably for three or 4000 either off of Facebook Marketplace or off of Craigslist. I don't believe in buying new vehicles. I don't believe in making payments on vehicles. Just like I don't believe in making payments on different stuff like rent center or rent places like that. I don't like doing that because if you miss a payment or can't make the payments, then that gets taken back. If you buy a car outright, you own it. The 2007 Saturn Ion that I have right now, I bought outright four years ago. Yes, I put thousands and hundreds of dollars into it, but it has done me good for the last four years. But I'm getting kind of scared because at 175,000 miles, my car valves were redone in the engine. So I'm not worried about the engine, but I'm worried about the transmission. Because the transmission has 205,000 miles on it. 205,000 miles is a lot for a transmission. Now, could it last three or 400,000 miles? Sure, it could. There's no problems with it right now. There's no slippage. Oh, my God, uh, I shouldn't say this because I'm going to jinx myself, probably, watch. But there's no slippage, nothing like that, no problems with it whatsoever. If you don't know, they say that if a car has a significant amount of miles on it, like mine has 205,000 on the transmission, the transmission fluid's never been changed, it's never been, the filter's never been changed, it's never been messed with. They say if you have that many miles on your car or your vehicle, do not mess with it. Do not change the transmission fluid. Do not change the filter because it could mess it up after all the miles. So keep that in mind. And that's what I'm doing with my car. However, I'm kind of scared because, like I said, it's got 205,000 miles on it. Living where I live right now and paying the rent that I pay right now and paying the electric bill and things like that, I cannot save up enough money to buy another vehicle. But if I get out of here, I'll be cutting my rent off, I'll be cutting my electric bill off, and I'll be able to save almost all of my money to buy a little minivan or an SUV. Then at that time, I will transition to the minivan or SUV, and I will show you that transition. And then, not to a subscriber, but to someone else, I will be giving my car away. I'm not going to keep my car, and I'm not going to sell it. I'm just going to give it away. And the reason why I'm just going to give it away is to help somebody else out. But not only that, it's, you know, it's got 205,000 miles on it. You know, I don't expect somebody to pay for that. Um, and I will have a new vehicle anyway. So I'll have to get rid of it anyway. So I will give it to someone that needs it. Of course, if it keeps running until then. But today's update video is basically I'm still transitioning into my car. If you haven't watched my last couple of videos, go back and watch them. I'm going to take you on the journey with me. I'm going to be doing more things on this YouTube channel. I'm going to be outside a lot more. I'm going to be having cookouts. I'm going to be camping outside. I'm going to be camping at parks. Um, I'm going to be out with my dog, playing with my dog, spending time with my daughters, out to different restaurants and living life on the road so if you're interested in that kind of stuff there's a lot of people that live life on the road if you're interested in that kind of stuff please go down below and hit the subscribe button and i will keep you updated on how the process is going it's going to take a couple months for me to transition from my apartment to living in my car and the reason why it's going to take time is because i got a lot of doctor's appointments I have a lot of health issues like heart issues, diabetes, and everything that I have to get situated. So I'm trying to get situated, but I'm going to be uploading more videos here to YouTube on the process, and I'm going to be taking you to life on the road with me. So please subscribe and share my content. Thank you.